I am now at the Mueller Farmer's Market. You have so many, like, tons <laughs> of gardening. Now I will have to figure out how to eat this. Today we have Chef Renee who will be joining us in an Iron Chef style show. Essentially, we'll be using a CSA box or a community supported agriculture box and learning how to cook with the vegetables inside. So let's get started. Hi everyone, um, I'm Chef Renee Hallett. I'm originally from the island of Guam. Um, I used to work on the cruise line in Hawaii prior moving to here. So now I'm here in Austin, Texas to deliver everyone my taste of the international fusions that I grew up with and all the different flares I learned upon the years. See what we got? Right, we got some organic collard greens. Some nice Swiss rainbow chards. Baby bok choy is one of my favorite growing up. Heirloom rainbow carrots, mostly uh, red and oranges. They're pretty sweet, they're nice baby ones. Several little baby beets. You guys can turn this into mash, roasted beets. One of my favorites is to do a roasted puree. We got Romanesco with this too. And that should be all of what we got for our individual box. What I'm trying to do is figure out on the spot, what am I gonna make with it, you know? So every time you get your CSA box, there's always something different. And you wanna look online or ask any friends or family, like, what can I do with this? With a Romanesco, that's something we don't have so common. So that's something you really wanna look up. But that's something that's like a broccoli you can do with, right? Um, so here, I'm going to be peeling some of my carrots just so I can pre uh, prepare it as if I was preparing sweet potatoes. We're going to have it nice sautéed, a little roasted, and then toss it up with some kale later. And this is just me thinking out of the box, you know? Like, when you open the box, maybe you want to feel like you're in a little competition with your other half, you know? And see who can make the better dish out of what you guys got. Because today we got an individual size box and that's pretty much good for a couple or for a single person, it probably lasts you for the whole week, which is really convenient. Um, and you, you know, we just want to figure out what we can do off of our, off of our feet. We want to figure out what we can plan for the rest of the week. Um, a lot of the vegetables you get from it, it's perfect for meal planning. So if you're a very busy life and you pick it up on a Saturday and you're off, you might as well figure out what you want to prepare with it on the day of, um, or on the Sunday, whichever you guys prefer. And then we're gonna blanch your bok choy, get nice and green, and then we're just gonna shock it in an ice water bath mix. Very fast, not even a minute, like it really lasts, depending on the, um, the vegetables you got. So bok choy is a leafy green. The root side, the harder side, is the one that's usually the, that takes a while. But what we're gonna do with this later, we're gonna grill it. So you have a little, ch a little char on it. So it's nice and green, it's getting there. You can start putting it in your ice water. So you want to shock it, um, get it nice and cold, take it out, and then kind of leave it to dry on some paper towels so you can get some of that extra moisture out. Wait, did you look up how to... Oh, no, no, how to prepare this? Yeah. No. Uh, so <laughs> how do you know how to prepare this if well, you... If back then you don't have phones, what are you gonna try to do, right? For, try to figure it out. What does it look like? It looks like a cauliflower. Feels like a cauliflower. What's in the broccoli family, which is the same. It's just green. And it has what, uh, is it supposed to be a little bitter, a little sweet? I don't remember. So then it's the, um, would they be able to use this if it was just cauliflower or broccoli? Like a recipe? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you can totally do There's so much different things you can do with different broccolis. Um, I would treat this like a cauliflower or a head of broccoli crown. I would not treat this like broccoli rob or baby broccoli. Mm. So is it's it, a little different. Because of the texture, right? Texture, um, the design of it. Broccoli rob is more, uh, has more leafy greens into it. Baby broccoli is more of the stem. And then, so yeah, if you treat this like a regular broccoli, it should be about the same. But I mean, it looks like cauliflower. So we're gonna do the same thing, blanch these, get the brightness out of it. So we're gonna cook this for about one, two minutes. 
one to two minutes just to get a little bright, get a little soft. Then later on, did not bring a walk. We're just going to saute it high. So it's all nice and bright now, and later on it's going to pop very nicely on our, our plates. That's all the reason why you got to do this. Sweet potato and kale. Instead of sweet potato, we use carrots. So it's a good replacement. Uh, for all our healthy eaters, a lot of my clients are low carb. So carrots is a good substitute. It's lower in ca carb content. Uh, it's just as sweet as sweet potato once you get it cooked properly. And then just take it from there. Saute it with some kale, nice different flavors. Toss it with, what do I got? Um, walnuts and raisins for s extra sweetness. You know? Now it's pretty much soft. Now I want to get it to roast up a little more. So I'll just leave it a little open and put it in for maybe like um, a few more minutes. A little oil. Normally I'll use coconut oil, but they like to use avocado oil here. Let it blend. Get a little more color. And we'll flip it. So the nice part of that is it gets that little smokiness into it, chars it up a little, a little more squeeze. And then I like to leave the lemon because I believe the aroma comes in and it just makes it smell better. <laughs> Salt, thyme. Little unsalted butter. And because it's very hot right now, it'll melt pretty fast. Turn it around, get it to caramelize and brown a little. Now we'll check our carrots. A little rosemary. Keep it on high. And then we'll finish it off with some crushed red pepper flakes. So your Romanesco is still green. You have a little color for caramelization. A little char. So your salmon skin, you don't have to start it very hot. You can start it cold pan. my Asian one, I'm just going to pour a little of that sesame oil. And then a little on the bok choy. I'm going to put a little rice vinegar. Almost done. Add a little fish sauce. So turn this around. And a splash of flavor. <laughs> I learned so much about how to prepare vegetables today. Also remember to check out our site at texasrealfood.com where you can find farms, farmers markets, and venues that really highlight real Texas foods. Have a good one guys. <laughs>